Taylor Swift has been known to be more of an open book about her relationship experiences in her music. And while gossip or rumors have lingered on for years about the people she has dated, there is allegedly an endearing love story that never happened, that is tightly nestled in the back end of her songbook. The instant connection she allegedly experienced when meeting Adam Young, also known as Owl City, is the center of her most wistfully romantic song, Enchanted. There is a ton of strong evidence to support their unsung right place wrong time connection, and it seemed to be a very pure crush, where they just exchanged how much they admired each other. This almost love story presumably began in 2010, after Adam and Taylor met in NYC, and sparks flew instantly. So they began emailing, and the emailing lasted for about 3-4 to four months according to Adam, but it never materialized into more. But fortunately, it was the inspiration for one of Taylor Swift's greatest songs, Enchanted. I wrote Enchanted about a guy who I was enchanted to meet, obviously. He was somebody that I had talked to a couple of times on email. And then I was in New York and went to meet him. I remember just the whole way home thinking, I hope he's not in love with somebody. Taylor also spoke about how she incorporated the word wonderstruck into the lyrics after the guy had emailed her and said something like, sorry, I was so quiet. I was just wonderstruck meeting you. In the song, Taylor describes her first encounter with this person as something that sounds like a perfect fairy tale. There I was again tonight, forcing laughter, faking smiles. Same old tired, lonely place. Walls of insincerity, shifting eyes and vacancy, vanished when I saw your face. All I can say is it was enchanting to meet you. Your eyes whispered, have we met? Cross the room, your silhouette starts to make its way to me. The playful conversation starts, counter all your quick remarks, like passing notes in secrecy. So it's drummed up to be this exclusive magical moment, and during the chorus it's as if she unleashed the magical feeling, and lets it all fly out. This night is sparkling, don't you let it go. I'm wonderstruck, blushing all the way home. I'll spend forever wondering if you knew. I was enchanted to meet you. I really love the framing of the story told in the lyrics. There's always the cliche love at first sight or instant sexual attention trope, commonly used in music, but the lyrics in Enchanted have such a pure sweetness to them that just say, I loved meeting you. Taylor then goes on about that exciting feeling of having a crush and thinking about them a little more than you probably should. The lingering question kept me up, 2am who do you love? I wonder till I'm wide awake, and now I'm pacing back and forth wishing you were at my door. I'd open up and you would say, hey. It was enchanting to meet you. So she's hoping for a reciprocated feeling, but she's not sure if he feels the same. The bridge of the song is the big longing moment, hoping that the sparks weren't all in her head and that they can pursue something together. This is me praying that this was the very first page, not where the storyline ends. My thoughts will echo your name until I see you again. These are the words I held back as I was leaving too soon. I was enchanted to meet you. Please don't be in love with someone else please don't have somebody waiting on you. There's an obvious touch of melancholy in these lyrics that I think help paint the picture of all the different emotions one might be feeling when going through a crush phase. I think the song overall also captures the feeling of being young and infatuated with someone quite perfectly. There's no missteps in this song. However, outside of the song, nothing much materialized from Adam Young and Taylor Swift. And personally, I actually like the aspect of the real event. Obviously, it would have been a nice love story if something actually came from this, but I think it's an even better story because nothing tangible resulted from this. It adds more mystique to the song itself. Like she was really just enchanted to meet him, and it stops there. It perfectly encapsulates the song. Owl City did hear the song and responded to it in a public letter. I always love decoding the sneaky secret messages hidden in Taylor's written lyrics. So naturally the day Speak Now came out, I played the whole thing from top to bottom as I added up the capital letters per each song's set of lyrics. As track 8 came to a close and the album switched over to track 9, a breathtaking song called Enchanted and one of my favorites on the entire record, something began to feel curiously familiar. I couldn't put my finger on it. Why did the song feel so personal? Why was it ringing a bell? Perhaps it was merely the word Wonderstruck that indeed struck a sweet chord. But before the second chorus hit, I'd already added up the letters, A, D, A, and then it hit me like a freight train. I didn't even need to find that last letter, M, 
A colorful swirl of memories flashed before my eyes. As it all added up, my jaw hit the floor. The track is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so tremendously honored that Taylor would write such an elegant song and thereby offer a gracious nod in my direction. Needless to say, I was lost for words and utterly smitten. I couldn't stop smiling. He ends the letter by saying, I was enchanted to meet you too. Love, Adam. So he almost instantly knew the song was recalling his time with Taylor, and he even recorded his own version of Enchanted. It remains one of Taylor Swift's best hidden gems. She may have been enchanted to meet him, but like most wondrous love stories that never happened, it was just too good to be true.